Like private ones or? I think we're just live. Oh, hi. Hello. <laughs> we are live. It's my first time. I'm doing a practice run with my sister, Bees and Bikinis from Honey Harbor. She is um, Harbor Honey um, on Instagram and everywhere else, and Bees and Bikinis on YouTube. Welcome. Yep. Thanks for having me. Um, so today I just wanted to do this as a practice for um, a lot I'm doing on September 16th. And I've never used StreamYard, so I wanted to practice. And I'm practicing with Queen Bee Liz. Um, today we're going to go check out all her knits that I have knitted her in the past however long I've been knitting and these are either gifts or she may have commissioned me to knit so um is there anything you'd like to say before we begin um well all of the knitwear you've made me that's all i ever wear and it's always on my youtube channel too and i have links to your youtube channel and website through there so people can find because some of it is be related which i have here uh, but it's a staple in my fashion attire that's for sure oh yeah hey. So you are, you are what we call knitworthy. <laughs> What's that mean? It's like when you knit something and you give it to someone and they wear it and they appreciate it and they just wear it to death. Yeah. So you are knitworthy. So I will gladly knit you anything. So I know you are going to wear it to death. Yep. Yeah, so I'm going to go through my favorites that I have worn to death, some of which mm -hmm. you've actually had to make me another one because I've worn it out, or like my favorites that I'm afraid to wear because I don't want to wreck it. So that's kind of the categories okay. I put in. So. Wow. Okay. Whoops. Kitty, I have little kittens here. So this one here is a hat you made for my husband. I just pulled this out because it's so fresh. And this is something he's afraid to wear. What? Because he doesn't want to wreck it. Oh, but come on. Good. Okay, so hold, hold it and wear it. Yeah, so... This so one they, is a combo of two or three patterns by Knox Mountain Knit Co. And so it combines about um, two of their hat patterns together because I really like them, but I wanted more variety in the texture. So, and then I used a Cascade 220 worsted weight yarn for the different colors. That's all I know about that one. I like that one. Got to keep it safe. Okay. So these ones are another I'm afraid to wear. But I do like to wear them in the fall. Oh, yeah. I forgot about those. Those are your like fingerless sleeve gloves. <laughs> They're like longer than the average glove, but like a sleeve. So you can wear like one of those kind of like my sweater and then you can wear those. <laughs> yeah, I wear them a lot with like a poncho. I have like a 
burgundy poncho or I have a short sleeve sweater, kind of like the one you're wearing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. Um, so those ones, I believe I got from a book called Stitch and Bitch, I think. The very yeah, they first were... book that Debbie Bliss put out. This was like one of your first ones. They're in pretty good shape because they don't wear them a lot. Yeah. I believe it's a synthetic yarn, so acrylic based, so it probably does well in the wash and whatnot. Yeah. Okay, okay that's so... like a flashback to like the nineties. Just kidding. <laughs> it was it was like earlier than that. It was like or later than that. But anyways, continue. <laughs> so this one, you've had to make me a new one. Um, this is actually the old one, which I've worn to death. You still and have the old one. Yeah, oh, the, yeah, the new one is actually in Bracebridge, so I don't have it. It's like my mm. part of my Bracebridge knitwear collection. But um, so this one... You actually made me because I saw you made like one for a kid. <laughs> Remember that? Yeah. And I said I wanted it. So you made me this one for an adult, but it's an apple toque. It's supposed to be a little apple. <laughs> so there's the leaf and the stem. Mm -hmm. But you made me a new one because this one got really stretched. But the mm -hmm. other one is more. Sorry, it's kitten him. It's more of a beanie, like a slouchy beanie. But I still do wear this one. It's like really fuzzy. Yeah. <laughs> so that one, that hat, my comment is, I remember I did something. It might have been a kid's hat, but it, but I made it up because I couldn't find the original pattern. So for the adult version, I just winged it. And I think that's probably why it's stretched out because I didn't know gauge yet. So, <laughs> so that one is my like the original design. And then the next one I made you, I, I adjusted this needle size and the yarn weight. Yeah. That's all I remember for that. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Is this like memory lane for you? Yeah. So I'm like, okay. I don't even remember. <laughs> Next oh. one. Mm -hmm. This big chunky cowl. It's got the double dutch on there. Yeah, that's an original. Nice cozy thick cowl it can go over your shoulders like that if you need a little snuggle it's a good one it's good for just like long sleeves like it's oh, just yeah. you can get right in there like right in there like look at that oh yeah it's like poncho yeah. Yeah. That one is an original double dutch pattern. Um, I wanted to make a matching set because I made the mittens with the heart, the fair isle heart and the hat. And mm -hmm. then I wanted to make a matching scarf, but I want I was making that for markets. So for the markets, I wanted bulkier weight yarn so I can knit it faster and like knit a whole bunch for market. So that's why it's so bulky and fluff. But yeah, I still have that pattern is available to download and knit if you'd like. Yeah, I have knit. the, I don't have it here. I think that's another one that's not with me, but I have a hat that matches this, but it's reverse colors and then I have mittens as well oh yeah it was a whole set whole ensemble. But I don't, 
I don't have those others, which means they're probably at my other house. All right. And then I have another oldie for you. Okay. So this one has a funny story. Mm. So this one, you had made me one already, which I wore all the time. And then I left it at a school I was teaching at never to be found again i'm assuming they thought it was like a kid's hat and put it in the lost <laughs> and found or something so you made me a new one <laughs> oh yeah what was <laughs> oh so this hat is a debbie bliss stitching bitch from the Stitch and Mitch original book. So the first one I made you was from there. And then you wanted a new one. I remember because then Candace wanted one, my other sister, and then everyone wanted it. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, yeah, that's, yeah, that's the Debbie Bliss one. It's not my Bless original. Look, now I can match them. Yeah. <laughs> I got two. <laughs> you need a black hat. Is it gray or black? It's like a charcoal. Uh -huh. Charcoal gray with a bit of sparkle in it. Oh. Yeah, Not I can't sparkle, remember. Not sparkle, but like, yeah, sparkle. Okay, this one is another cowl. Excuse me, kittens. Oh, Whoa! <laughs> but this one's oh, just yeah. like a chunky cowl, and that must be an original too. Yeah. So this was my, I didn't write a pattern for this one. It's just straight up crochet double crochet, um, get ready for market, make it as fast as you can, cowl. Maybe I think you wanted it to match your hat because I made you a hat that color too. Mm-hmm. Should I put that one on? Okay. Yeah. So this one is a the Amsterdam cable hat and it's a pattern that you can also download. It's also washable friendly and I think the pom pom remove is removable. Yeah, it has a button on the inside. Oh no, it's tied. Okay. Tied on. Yeah. But this hat I wear this is one I've clear like see it like I've just worn it out but I still wear it and I never wear this hat on a hike because I am afraid I look like a deer and I'm gonna get shot <laughs> a white-tailed deer or a bunny yeah so I tend to stay to the brighter colors on a hike so this is one of my favorites. It fits really nicely. It stays on. It's good for like tobogganing and stuff because it like keeps me warm and it stays on. Cool. Yep. Okay, this next one is also one of my favorites. And this one has like real fur pom pom on it. Yeah. I think. I think it is. I think it is. And that pattern is from, uh, oh my gosh, I forget her name. I forget her name. I'll look it up. But it's like 
someone in Vancouver in the on the coast, west coast. She dyes yarn and writes patterns, mostly shawls and northbound knitting. That's that's who it is. I forget her first name. Northbound knitting, and she so she knit she publishes patterns, and that one was a really uh, bulky weight one that I enjoyed. That one was fun to knit. That and that so wool. Many colors. Yeah, that yarn is like, I think it's a Malabrigo. Maybe it's a Malintosh. But it was fancy yarn. Like Love the yarn that. that you don't buy at Michael's. And then the pom-pom. I think I got it at Stash in Calgary. Cool. Can't believe I'm, I'm remembering all these. So these ones are definitely worn out already. You just well, I just made those. They're like Christmas I, last year. I've worn like <laughs> they're pretty much my only mittens. But I do have to say, like, they're fleece lined, super warm. Do not wear these tobogganing. <laughs> what? Your hands will be snowballs. <laughs> but they're good for just, like, being outdoors, hikes, walks. But, like, do not even think about throwing a snowball at these. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I love these ones. Love those them. ones are an original pattern by myself. I made the mitten pattern up. The yarn is what makes them unique. They are dyed to self stripe like that, and it's they're called too cool for school, and it's by the woolen the wool baron in Chestermere. Alberta and so she her specialty is dyeing yarn so that when you knit it knits the stripes for you you don't have to change color and you don't have to weave in ends so too cool for school they are uh look to make they look like pencils the eraser the HB pencil and then the uh, um metal part with the eraser oh. that's why they're called too cool for school and i i had to um separate so i had to unwind the whole ball of yarn separate the gray take the gray out and then knit so i cast on the, the gray and then I used the rest of the ball to get the color. And then the thumb was the other remaining part of the gray. So I kind of had to like split the ball of yarn into two because I was making mittens. So it was kind of like a math, lots of math. But yeah, and then I and then I lined them with fleece because I'm like, these would be so cool if they're aligned. Cool, too cool for school. That's why I made them for you because you're a teacher and I knew you would appreciate school stuff. <laughs> and you are I too cool it. for school. Just too cool. Just way too cool. <laughs> okay. Next one is, this is a hat I wear all the time. And this hat actually went missing for a long time and I found out a friend of mine had borrowed it and then she gave it back to me for my birthday La not this year but the year before and I just love this hat because I can wear it and it's B looks like B but it's like a beanie sort of slouchy and it's good for all seasons. Yeah. Camping in summer. 
throw it on in the winter on a nice warm day. Yeah. And for the bee yard. Yep. I always wear this on my YouTube channel. Always, always, always. The so this pattern is not mine. It's another Knox Mountain Knit Co. It's you can get it from there. I think it's free. Free pattern download, maybe. But the I was like, I thought of you, right? As soon as I thought, I'm like, gotta knit this. Gotta knit this for Liz because she's a beekeeper and a bee honey girl. So I liked how it like went faded from thick black to like, like it looks 3D when you wear it because it's not like it's not the slouch that makes it the colors, right? It's like more yellow on the top and then it fades to more black on the bottom. Yeah. I believe I use Frank Orc for the yellow and then the black is just black, both Malabrigo yarn. Yeah. That was a fun knit. Easy and fun. Love and it, it looks it good on anyone. Yeah. Love it. Found right back to me. Yay. Okay. Got two more. Whoa, you got lots. Whoa. <laughs> it's like a ghost fly by cat. Kitten ghost. Oh, yeah. So this is my Save the Bees toque. So you sold this in my in the Honey Bee Festival at my booth two years ago. And mm -hmm. I just wanted it so bad. So you told me not to send it back and to keep it. But it was like a gift for Christmas or something. Yeah, it was like a pre-Christmas gift. <laughs> yeah. But I love this one. It's a lot like, to me, like this one. Like the same, like goes with everything, has the same kind of fit to it in a way. Although this one doesn't have a brim and the pom-pom, but like I just can wear it with anything. Yeah. That I knit for look your first bee festival in Honey Harbor. And um, we're promoting the bees, Save the Bees. So I wanted to knit something that was <laughs> bee related. And so the pattern came out the weekend of the festival. And then I knitted little cozies and the hat and you sold them from me at your booth. Yeah. There's just a kitten and cam going on. Yeah, so that's, a, <laughs> that's my original design. I'm very proud of that one because I was like on a timeline. I love these little bees. Yeah. So cute. And then the little heart. <laughs> yeah, little heart. Yeah. And I like the double brim too. It's so cozy. Okay, Smoo, can you guess what the last one is? Is this like your all-time favorite one? All-time favorite, but I never wear it because I don't want to wreck it. Oh my gosh! No way. <laughs> oh, it's the it's the shawl. Yeah. My shawl. I don't want to wear it. Just wear it. <laughs> Look it. This one looks That's like your heart went into it. So it did, beautiful. I... Huh? Yeah, it did, but like the, it was just a really fun shawl to knit, so I knit it pretty quick. Like, it wasn't, like, one of those, like, oh, I don't want to knit it anymore. Like, I really love knitting it, and you should wear it as everyday outfits. 
I thought you were gonna wear this one like during and be like, the look what thing? I got. <laughs> like during the whole live tonight. Oh, I had to save the best for last. I love this one. Yeah, I like that one. That one is um, another Knox Mountain Co. Company um, pattern. It's called the Paradise Shawl, I believe. Paradise Valley, maybe. Um, it's knit with a uh, worsted weight yarn, light DK, or a light worsted and a DK weight yarn. And did I knit it for your birthday or was it? like yeah yeah my birthday last year and that's when i got this hat back <laughs> uh -oh. and it was a really fun easy knit and um i wish that i had more time to knit more things like that because they're fun and then you have a little shawl cuff right shawl cuff yeah yeah. So that's also Knox Mountain, I think. Yeah. They sell those, yeah. so. So don't be afraid to wear it. It's one of my prized possessions. Like, if I were to live in my little trailer, <laughs> this, this would come with, like, one pair of jeans. This, I'd probably have, like, three hats. I can't choose. Oh, yeah. My mittens. Yep. Nice. It's in the bin. Maybe, it's like, maybe you just don't want to, like, other people to see it so that they <laughs> ask you. Well, I wore it. So my principal at my school now is a knitter. She, oh. every time I wear anything of yours, she's like, where, where did you get that? Do you knit? I'm like, no. But we'll see. Cause yeah, she has seen this. Oh no. No. Because school is shut down. So she hasn't seen this yet. So I'll strut by her in the hallway. Um, yep, she's gonna want one, or at least the pattern. Yeah. Exactly. Well, that's all I got here right now. All anyway. right. That was a my, lot. There's more at my other house for sure. I've got a stash there too. Um. There's two that you didn't present tonight. And I don't know if you even have them still. Do you know which, which one? ones? It was a backpack. <laughs> it was like pink oh. and it had like a little it had like a little character on it. I still have that. I think it's in a bin somewhere. I do still have that. And then there I thought was that Jordan. was gonna be. <laughs> and then Jordan's like um, Bender, cozy. It was like yeah. a hot pad. Yeah, from those are. Some... Yeah, those are somewhere. I don't know where those are, but I know they're not gone. I'll have okay, to good. find. <laughs> I'll have to find those. I think they're in a bin in the closet, in my craft closet, or they're in the basement in a bin. I was, uh, yeah, because when we when we decided to do this, I'm like, oh, I wonder if she'll bring her backpack. And then <laughs> I'm like, I don't know if she has that. Because that was another, like, Debbie Bliss Stitch and Bitch book knit. It's, like, one of my first projects that'll be my right. my task yeah. is to find those yeah
Because I think there was even a zipper in it, and I lined it. Yeah. And yeah. I'm like, and I, sometimes I think back, and I'm like, how was I so good at that? But I'm not very good anymore. <laughs> like, it's just like, I don't know. Sometimes, like, when I knit now, like, blown away by a pattern, like, how did they think of this, like, technique or this way they do things? And I'm like, remember that backpack I made? How did I even get through that pattern? It was, like, so new at knitting. Anyways. I'm going to find One day we'll have to come back and do that, do those two, Adam. Yeah, those are yeah. pretty intense. I should just put the little bender guy back in the kitchen and see what Jordan says. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, cool. I think I know where that bag is. I think I know. I'll find it. Okay. Well, Kay. that's all. That's it. That's all. Just wanted to practice, try it out, play around. Okay. So thanks for joining me on this adventure and thanks for sharing your knits. I hope that you will wear your shawl more. That I will. And now that you're back in school. Now that I have a reason to wear clothes again, I'm going <laughs> to really wear the shawl. Yeah, I was really into shawls for a while. Now I don't like things around my neck. Yeah, you made that nice one for mom and for y your mom. Mm -hmm. They probably yeah. never wear them. <laughs> yep. They're afraid to wreck them. Just like me. Just wear them. Holy. Okay, I'm going to wear it. You're going to be sorry when I ask you for a new one because I wrecked it. <laughs> Just send it back to me and I'll fix it. Okay. Okay. Well, thanks for having me and thanks for all this lovely knitwear. Yep, glad you like it and wear it in our knit Look at this haul. Oh, you can sell those in the market. <laughs> no way, they're mine. <laughs> That's the one hat like I was surprised you wanted was that apple hat because I'm like, why? <laughs> I love it. And now I have two of them. <laughs> <laughs> yep. One for one for each house. <laughs> yeah. Dilly. Oh. We well, make little hats for the kittens. Yeah. Remember that um frog hat with the eye? <laughs> Yeah, like some of those. Something that I could, like, button on. They'll love it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I'm no gonna one go watched this. Hmm? Okay, see you later. Thanks for joining me. Bye. No one's watching? No. <laughs> there was, like, one, but I think it was Bryce. <laughs> Just let it, let it fester and see. People always watch mine later. Uh, one more thing is you should like post, like make your thing. I don't know if you have or not for later so people can set a reminder. Yeah, I have it and I shared the link so they could set their reminder. Okay. Okay. So if I end the broadcast, will you disappear or will you still be around? still be around all right so i'm gonna end it then bye everyone bye, bye. thanks for watching <laughs>